Hi, I'm Jesus Honorato from Chile, and I will present you a systematic mapping review and aim innovative public policies in the development of reading skills in basic education regarding the systematic mapping protocol. Both concepts here in the title, um, public policies and also reading skills, are today of great relevance in our country and in all Latin American much more in the actual context of the educational gap consequence of the pandemic. Here we can see the outline, the outline of this outline of this presentation, and the objective that objective that is analyze the evidence published between the years with respect to innovation and public reading policies, and identify publications that can contribute with other studies or practical experience in order to accelerate the learning reading process. Some of the research questions are related with the type of design of the articles, or the most cited ones, the geographical distribution of the authors, the field, the context, and the main issues of them, and the gap for future studies. Main concepts that, um, that are very important in the systematic mapping are public policies, comprehensive reading, and innovation. It is built over these concepts. The methodology used is a protocol, a very explicit and scientific protocol that is described here, where do, you can identify inclusion and exclusion criteria, detect in the database the terms, and search the articles, read the articles, and then create a classification scheme for the method for the systematic mapping review. Some results. And the first one, we can found more in Scopus articles than in WAS, and more experimental than theoretical, and very little in mixed methodology. And there are more in the United States and United Kingdom, few, few of them in Latin America. Here are the journals. And the um, good news, we have a lot of uh, publications in education, related with education, and in a very good impact factor, Q1 and Q2. You can see it in blue and in green. And then another one, it's the, the context of the public policies are related to elementary school. There are more public policies related with reading in elementary and more programs than models. Finally, we can see that the public policies are related with skill behaviors mostly and related with innovation in knowledge and technology. The conclusions are related with that there's more empirical studies than theoretical conceptual ones, and qualitative methodology on quantitative ones. The mixed methodology is scarce. And some very important things that the networks are fundamental also to increase the effectiveness and results of public policy. Also technology that uh, is an opportunity to advance to in this line of citizen participation by making public policy more effective. United States and England consider technology and innovation in public policies, but it is not the case of Latin America. The studies carried out do not reach 5% of this review, and in these innovations, this innovation has been delayed. Finally, we can see that um, um, the articles more cited and far above average is related to innovation in public policy. The name of the article is the digital governance of public education. So it seems that governments must develop public policies by building technical capacities to design, implement, monitor, and evaluate them using digital to establish strategies and develop them in a more efficient and sustainable way. Thank you from Chile and Mexico, Jesús Honorato, Amelia Soledad Ramírez.